Don and Mimi Galvin were an accomplished young couple that married in 1944. After coming home from World War II, Don's career led him to a position in the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. Mimi kept herself busy by cooking, cleaning, and raising the children. They're 12 children to be exact. 10 sons and 2 daughters. As one can imagine, a house full of 10 boys can be very chaotic and competitive. But as the boys began to grow older, the family noticed that something wasn't quite right with the oldest, Donald. Blessed with his father's good looks, Donald began to act out in unusual ways. This started with destroying the family's Thanksgiving dinner by smashing the dishes into pieces and evolved into actions as severe as jumping into a bonfire and eventually killing a cat, slowly and painfully. The family suffered for many years as the boys became more and more sick, one by one, until a total of six of the boys were beyond the family's control, each with a different set of schizophrenic symptoms. Donald, the eldest son, was the first to show symptoms. Some days when the family came home, he would be moving every piece of furniture into the yard, and other days he would be sitting in the living room completely naked. Jim, the second oldest son, became a safe alternative for his younger brothers and sisters by taking them to the movies and flying kites until he started to molest them which was the start of his schizophrenic episodes. It was presumed that he was forced down this path by a Catholic priest who assaulted him at a young age. Shortly after his first psychotic break, Brian, the fourth son, shot and killed his wife before turning the gun on himself in a horrifying murder-suicide. The other brothers experienced less severe, but equally as alarming, mental episodes. Peter began wetting the bed at the age of 14 because he believed there was a devil under the house. Joseph saw visions of the Chinese emperor in the sky and claimed the vision spoke to him, while Matthew believed he was Paul McCartney from the Beatles. As one can imagine, this took a large toll on the whole family, each sibling constantly awaiting their own schizophrenic break as their siblings cycled in and out of mental hospitals. The boys received a range of treatments, including electroconvulsive therapy and a pharmacopoeia of drugs, some with lethal side effects that two of the brothers would eventually die from. This caught the attention of researchers at the time when little was known about the cause of schizophrenia. Because the family had so many members with and without the disease, they were able to provide a unique perspective and were a leading case study in the theory that schizophrenia has both gen genetic and traumatic roots. Today, Donald is sweet and kind, yet still delusional, and believes he is the offspring of an octopus. Matthew is grouchy, but with medication, he is far more functional than his other brothers. Peter is a talented mu musician that is extremely loving towards his family. Joseph, Jim, and Brian are deceased. Margaret, the second to youngest daughter, now makes a living as an artist. She claims that her art is inspired by nature, relationships, and the boundaries you establish to create health and well-being. Part of Margaret's portfolio includes a series of abstract self-portraits, each representing a member of her family and their journey together. She has photography work displayed at Dahlia Center for Health and Wellbeing, a flagship campus for Denver's mental health system.